Back in my garage. How's it going? Uh, today I'm gonna replace the. I'm gonna work on the forks. But earlier, I replaced the shift lever seal, which was leaking. Laid it on its side. That way I could just leave the oil inside, and got a flat blade screwdriver, and a pick, and just slowly and gently worked that out of there and popped that out of there. Then I took some like painter's tape to wrap around the splines on the shaft and that'll help uh, protect the seal from being cut or damaged on the way being slid into place. Then I got some oil and just uh, coated the seal with oil inside and on the outside and that'll help it slide into place a lot better. I should have removed the cover first, <laughs> make access to get to this thing a lot easier, but anyway. To uh, drive the seal into place, I used a three quarter inch socket, which match the diameter perfectly of the seal. I just used like a dead blow type of hammer to drive that into place. Just make sure it's bottomed out and uh, yeah you're, you're good to go. Put the cover on, screw everything back into place. So now that that's taken care of I'm going to... the last thing I want to work on to get this kind of just ride and ready just to have something to ride around it for now is the forks. They need to be rebuilt. Take a look at this. So, there should be a cap here, and then this boot. All right, this side has no cap. It was wound with black tape to help hold the boot, the boot up in place. So I've got a box of replacement parts. First thing I'm going to do is get attack this wheel, get that out of the way. And then we can unbolt the top bolts of the fork here. I should be able to slide all these components out. There's a pin. I haven't taken these apart yet, so but I know that there's a pin that you got to punch out, and that'll help let everything drop free. So let's get into that. Take this cap off this brake line. Pop that off of there. Get this bolt off. In. There we go. Get this cable out of this stay. Get. <laughs> there we go. Fourteen millimeter bolts up here loosened. And see if I can drop these guys out of the bottom here. There we go. Oh, wow. That, that's nice and delicious. Yeah, I got some cleaning to do. Gonna clean, get the other one off, clean everything up and get stuff ready. So I took everything apart, got it out of there, took this to the vise to punch the pin out, and I did, and in there was this brass bent pin, which is not right, <laughs> should be straight, because this lower section has been broken off. See, the pin goes through that hole, and the other, so the other side should look just like it, but it's broken. So to remedy that, just to get it together, they used this brass pin help just kind of pin it together for now. So what that means is I ordered a replacement part of this and a, a seal and a cap and I was just gonna put this back together. Also this lower parts bent so yeah, I think I'm just gonna order a whole new a whole new deal. Alright real quick I just want to take apart this the internal of the fork here just to kind of give you an idea a reference if you've not been into one of these before just to see how everything comes apart they're pretty simple um, this has been cleaned so this will come apart and look a lot better if, if, if you than one that you've never that's never been out in service before because when I took these out of you saw they were really disgusting really just really dirty but to start and I had to break these apart in the vise 
there's a, these flat edges on here and that allows you to uh, lock it into the into the vise at least for me that's what I did but these should unthread out of the spring mine were locked in pretty good <laughs> but there's that part that's the top part that just unthreads same with the bottom might be able to just take the spring and unthread it yep there we go there's a stopper a rubber bump stop right here and that just cap like such now here's a pin right here's a low like a little locking pin and I'm just going to use a punch to get that out got a little push a little punch and it's probably work better in the in a vise to help hold it <laughs> but basically just center that line that up Get it through the other side. There we go. You can see that pin starting to push out right here. Okay, almost got it. Once that pin goes through, then you can get this piece out. <laughs> Just about there. Okay, pin is out. Then this comes out. Then you can slide the guide out of place. There's a dust cap in here, dust seal, which he got locked into the <laughs> the bottom of the cap here. There he goes. And there's your dust seal, your cap, and then the boot. And there you go. That's a breakdown of the uh, Z50 fork internal. So I bought some new internals that are complete. They were sold in a pair. And I'm going to go ahead and install those right now. Make sure when you're putting these together, you want to grease this guide. And I also greased up the spring area here. And this area when it's all put together. So grease on this guy. The area where the spring connects to this bump stop in the top section here and then you can slide them into place so before I put the new internals in I decided to take apart the triple tree and put in uh, check the races and uh, the bearings the races looked fine there was no rust no pitting or grooves or wear that looked damaging but I did pick up new ball bearings cleaned everything up packed grease into the race areas into the bearings to hold them into place once I had everything greased, I just started sliding everything together and reversing how I took it apart. I got the washer screwed down here, just about thumb tight and a bit. You want it to be snug, but make sure it turns, steers freely. Grease the forks right here on the uh, slide area in the upper and lower area. And uh, now at the top, when you slide the fork in, look for there's that alignment pin. And you'll see how that fits into place in the groove on the top of the fork tube. And once you get those lined up, spin the caps on and you're ready to mount your tire you're good to go let's go see what this thing does <laughs> oh man this thing's pretty fun it's a hard tail you hit every you feel every bump no sh no questions about it <laughs> Oh man, oh, it's a large gravel. No problem. <laughs> oh, this ain't gonna be good. <laughs> he gave me a thumbs up. All right. <laughs> Look out, squirrel. <laughs> Doesn't know what to do. Where do I go? Oh yeah, this is off road. Cool. Yeah, this thing's awesome. This little Honda's taking care of business. No sweat. Get 
this lady says. She doesn't care. Sorry, doggy. Sorry, dogs. <laughs> oh man, this is sketchy. <laughs> this alley is oh, severely rutted and bumpy. Just hammer it. Hammer down. Just go for it. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, rabbit, what's up? Across the street. Just tearing up the back alleys here on the Z50. <laughs> A little test ride today. So I got these forks all buttoned up. I just want to take this thing out for a ride. It's official. This little Honda 50 has come together. Running really well. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks for stopping and checking out my videos. Appreciate it. See you all in the next one. Oh yeah, we're doing the roundabout. Oh yeah. <laughs> doing one lap on the roundabout. Nobody's coming. All right, let's get out of here.